Good morning, y'all. How are y'all today? So welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope y'all are having an awesome day today. So I've been gone for a little bit. Uh, I was trying to tape sooner, but I have been rather sick. I was fighting a migraine headache, which threw my fibromyalgia nuts for over a week. And so I haven't been feeling good. Plus trying to get used to different medication. But lots of things have happened since then. I have celebrated, of course, Valentine's Day. But two days before that is mine and my husband's anniversary. We celebrated four years. Um, and then we had little man, which y'all have heard me talk about him. Um, he's been doing really good with his occupational therapy and his speech therapy. Uh, for his autism. Um, he's just, here lately he's been doing a lot of things, leaps and bounds, and we have found out that he speaks really clear when he's really angry. So, which I find kind of fascinating. But um, we also celebrated three birthdays. Um, my husband and his son, they both have the same exact birthday, of course different years, but um, they were born both on the 15th. And then on the 24th, just a few days ago, we celebrated my daughter's 21st birthday. So I have a 19 year old, a 21 year old, and a two and a half, soon to be three year old. Um, they're both in college, they do really well. Um, I know y'all are probably looking in the background. So I'm gonna slide over a little bit. <laughs> Those are my herbs. I do medicinal purpose herbs because I like homeopathic healing. Um, I, last time I counted, I have about 217 different ones. So that's what y'all see back there is all my different herbs. Um, I've done a lot of stuff this week um, besides fighting headaches, trying to get used to new medication and everything. I've been doing all kinds of stuff. Um, first, I was working on a big sewing project, and Diane, I'm sorry, I had to keep a little bit of this fabric just so I could show everybody on my channel. So, I have a little scrap pad fabric that I use, I kept, and this is the material I was using, and it was for making some cushion covers and some pillows. And this fabric is, oh my goodness, it is just so soft. And it's thick, it's quilted, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I really, really enjoyed working with this fabric. Um, usually I don't get to work with fabric like this. Usually it's just like cotton, you know, that sort of thing. Cheaper stuff. And uh, But this was just, I just so enjoyed working with it. And loved it loved it so that's one thing I've been doing I wish you could see around me you would see all these things around me because I've got so much to talk about so acquisitions I actually have some I went to Michael's I mean not Michael's but AC Moore after um, I had a doctor's appointment and <laughs> I told my sister, I said, why don't we just go in just for the heck of it? I mean, it's been going out of business. You know, they've been slowly discounting everything. And I said, let's go in there just for, just because. So I do, um, you, I do dyed yarn, hand dyed yarn. So I'll show that to you later on a different video. I just didn't bring it because I had so much stuff. So I was able to get 60% off of some rubber bands, which I need for tie-dyeing and stuff like that because I have festivals coming up and some of the things that I was planning on selling is um, some tie-dye t-shirts because people asked me for it last year at the festival when I was there. So I also was able to get 60% off of soda ash dye fiber powder. Um, you basically put that in water, and that's what helps prepare your yarn to be dyed. 
also got got to have some some gloves they are not latex because i'm allergic to latex so these are just regular vinyl gloves again 60 percent off don't remember the exact prices i ended up spending that whole entire day i think it was 21 dollars and i got those items i also got two packages of these these are the crochet hook sets and it's for crochet it's for the 6 millimeter, 6.5 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. I bought two simply because I know I always go through and I don't have extras of that size. So that was another acquisition. And they also had these um, shopping bags that I was able to get for 80 cents. And I used them for my big um, projects because they're big project bags. Essentially is what I'm using them for. Um, the other acquisition that I got from AC Moore was I'm working on my granny square. I'm going to turn it into a cocoon cardigan. I'm having, I'm designing this, you know, with some thoughts in mind, but anyways, um, I was, a, I was running out of the colors that I needed. And to be honest, I did not think I was going to be able to get them because of the fact that AC Moore is going out of business. And when I went in there around Christmas time, after they announced it and started you know, discounting stuff, they didn't have hardly any yarn. So there's still yarn there now because evidently they are getting deliveries from the warehouse and everything else, trying to litigate everything, including their shelves. But I managed to be able to find four of the colors that I needed um, and I was able to get one skein each so I have my colors I'm so excited it's 100% acrylic um, I got this beautiful it's like a dark teal green um, deep lake is the name of it and this one is fuchsia rose and rose is my favorite flower this one is called Bluebell, and this one is called Peach Nectar, and peach is actually my favorite color. Um, so I was really excited that I was able to do that. So I also got in the mail, I call it Happy Mail. You know, not everybody would. Some people would call it Junk Mail, but I got Happy Mail. And it was to our fellow crafter from Michaels. So if you get this in the mail, what they are doing is they are giving you a 20% off exclusive savings pass. And you get to use it valid through the 30th of April. And it's unlimited use and you can only use it in the store. So they sent, Michaels is sending out this neat little coupon for 20 cents 20 percent off um and it does include sale prices so kind of like when they had the president sale and they had the loops and threads for 40 percent off you can actually add this and end up getting 60 percent off of your yarn instead so i was excited it makes me happy so i called it happy meal i've got a finished project i've been working on big projects so I don't feel like I accomplished much in crochet, but I did do a lot more than I thought I did. Um, my aunt had gifted me this yarn, and it's got like this really dark red in it, and then it goes into like a mauvish pink and to a white. And being that it was Valentine's Day, I decided to make a heart. And I want to say that the yarn is probably red heart, or it could even be Bernat. But by the texture and how it feels, it honestly feels more like Red Heart. So, um, that was my finished product, project. It was small, quick, wasn't too difficult. It was rather easy. And I will leave a link for the, the um, pattern down in the, the description box down below. Um, the lady that wrote it, evidently Mikey from the Crochet Crowd, has actually started using that for showing off his hearts when he makes them, um, according to what her article read, the one that I read. So, 
that now gets me to my unfinished big projects. I got my coffee here. My coffee cup. This is my coffee cup, y'all. It's well used. As you can see, the, the coffee is just piping hot. So I guess I'm going to hold off a little bit. Let it cool down a little bit. Um, then I'll have it. But I got my milk until it cools down. And I also use these really cool scissors. Since I just had to show these two because they're really neat. And if you're not sure why they are shaped this way, they are extremely sharp for one. I do Renaissance fairs. I'm a reenactor. I re I dress up in in Renaissance garb. And we have a festival coming up soon. But I'm gonna do a visit a video specifically for that because I have something really plan really neat planned for that video. But anyways. I got those at one of my renaissance fairs. This is a really lovely lady that sells um, different yarns from different countries and stuff like that. And um, also soirees and stuff like that. Or saris, I'm sorry. And um, silk ones. So she does a lot of that at the festivals. So, to my unfinished projects. I want to show y'all what I've been doing so far for my Granny Square Challenge for the season of the Granny. I'm using a six millimeter hook. My other six millimeter hook that I use when it's dark in the room and we just have the big 55 inch TV lighting the room up. As you can see, I have medical tape up here and then under my handle, I have purple duct tape. So I use the light up hooks a lot, especially at nighttime or if I'm using dark um, yarn like black, just so I can see a lot better. Plus, I really enjoy using these. I've been using these for going on four years. I've been using these light up hooks and I really enjoy them. They're just after time. The only thing I don't like about them is the fact that after time they do have a tendency to loosen up and fall apart because you use the plastic head um, real easy. This is an interchangeable one and it also recharges. So I actually have all kinds of different heads for these, but I use them all the time. But the granny square that I'm doing, it's that texture granny square, um, both fiber spider and granny, creative granny, Glenda. Both of them have done videos on that. I will leave the links for you down in the description box. But this is what I've got so far. My beautiful textured granny square. And I did put black in it also, as you can see. Um, it's got the, the four colors that I've got from A.C. Moore. And then I've got black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this into a rectangle. So I've got eight more rows that I need to do. And then I'm going to start making it into a rectangle. And I'm just going to add more to two of the sides to turn it into a rectangle. And then, because I'm using black, I've got this big black yarn. And I don't remember, honestly, I don't remember who made it. I just remember it saying um, blanket in a bag in one skein, because it came in a bag. So it made a whole blanket or throw rather. And um, I don't remember who it was, but it's acrylic yarn and it's still the same size as the other, a four medium four. Um, I try to stay in close to that range if I can, um, but that doesn't always work. So the other thing that I have been doing, I'm trying to figure out where to put my hook. Um, the other thing that I have been doing is I have been working on 
the mandala blanket, the round one that I showed you. It has gotten bigger. I have nine more rows to do and then I'll be completely done. But this is what I've got so far. And like I said, it's almost done. It's, it's getting there. Um, just, I got nine more rows to do. And once I get that done, I'll be doing that blanket. So I'm excited about that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think I have any more acquisitions or happy mail. No, I think I got it all. Went over everything. I do not do um, retakes. Well, I'll do a retake if it started funny. But once I start push record, that's it. Whatever comes out of my mouth is it. That's done. Um, just trying to get it all done. But I hope everybody has a great yarny day. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Uh, you know, please like, comment. I will comment back. I've so far I've been commenting just about on everybody's. I haven't had any negative or anything like that. So, but because I'll just erase that if something's negative or something I don't approve, I'll just delete it. But so I'm not worried about that part. But I wanted to make sure everybody had a good day. Enjoy your yarny projects, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye.